Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Wednesday, March the 8th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. We are in the season of Lent. This is the Wednesday after the second Sunday in Lent, and we have three passages of scripture for today. Psalm 128, a reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, and a reading from the gospel according to John. We begin with Psalm 128, a song of ascents. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of your labor of your hands. You shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Now from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Just getting to that right now. And reading from the English Standard Version, verses 20, uh, Ezekiel chapter 36, verses 22 to 32. Therefore say to the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, it is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. And I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations and which you have profaned among them. And the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Lord God, when through you I vindicate my holiness before their eyes. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols. I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from, in your, from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. You shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. And I will deliver you from all your uncleanness, and I will summon the grain and make it abundant and lay no famine upon you. I will make the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field abundant, that you may never again suffer the disgrace of famine among the nations. And then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good, and you will loathe yourselves for your iniquities and your abominations. It is not for your sake that I will act, declares the Lord. Let that be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your ways, O house of Israel. And now, from the Gospel according to John, chapter 7, uh, verse 53, to chapter 8, verse uh, 11. Now I want to make a notation. This is a passage in John that is somewhat controversial. The earliest, earliest manuscripts do not include this passage. However, after much prayer and consideration, it has been decided to include it in the standard text of all current Bibles, but the footnote remains. The, this passage, this uh, encounter with the woman caught in adultery uh, is a later addition to the Gospels. 
We read from the Gospel according to John, chapter 8, verse 53, to chapter 9, verse, uh, chapter 7, verse 53, to chapter 8, verse 11. They, they went each to his own house, but Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and placing her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. Now, in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. So what do you say? This they said to test him that they might have some charge to bring against him. And Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. And once more he bent down and wrote on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the older ones. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus stood up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, Sin no more. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised for the generous provision of it to us. Grant that through the power of your Holy Spirit, we may become people who go beyond merely hearing or reading your word, but become people who have your word permanently in our minds, our hearts, in our very souls, wherein it can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, our Savior, our soon-returning King. As always, friends, I commend you for spending a few moments each day listening to the Word of God, reading the Word of God. You can certainly read these passages for yourself as I have listed them in the description portion of this video. Until we can be together again, to hear the word of God for that day, and I pray that day will be tomorrow, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ. Shalom.